New at 11, the tragic events of September 11, 2001, may have happened more than 500 miles away, but now people here in northwest Ohio can pay tribute. NBC 24's Jay Hanna visited this memorial today in Swanton. He's now live in the newsroom to explain how you can check it out. Jay, this memorial was officially unveiled last year. Ryan, the Northwest Ohio 9-11 Memorial was finished with its construction on September 11th, 2017. But because it is inside the Ohio National Air Guard's 180th Fighter Wing military base, it had to pass the necessary security requirements. Now, it's open to the, to the public. It is more than I imagined it ever could be. Just over 17 years ago, on September 11th, 2001, Thousands of lives were lost as a result of terrorist attacks at three different locations in the United States. Retired Colonel Scott Reed remembered the events of the day and explained it to a small group on Tuesday. I just love, you know, that, that idea of being part of such a professional team that day. Colonel Reed showed off the Northwest Ohio 9-11 Memorial in Swanton, which is now officially available for tours to the public. It features a representation of the Pentagon, Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and the World Trade Center buildings. The setup is a sundial, and the times of those attacks are displayed. One of the most jaw-dropping aspects of the memorial is the detail within the granite that comes from the crash sites. You will see stars of different colors, with each one representing a police officer, EMT, firemen, military members, and civilians. Everyone is individual. Everyone represents a life lost that day. Pauline Glaza was a big part of the construction of the memorial. She's the former executive director of Toledo Regional Architects, Contractors, and Engineers, the organization that oversaw the construction. 9-11 was a day she'll never forget. Our daughter's 10th birthday. Glaza's daughter remembers the incident vividly, but many children today weren't even alive for it. My hope is that we're bringing kids out here. Because I, I, I tell people next year there'll be high school seniors who weren't born yet when this happened. One member of the audience Tuesday only knows of 9-11 through stories as Jackson Mossel is only a sophomore at Cardinal Stritch. Our family has talked about it a lot. Uh, our barb gets emotional very easily. Again, because it is on a military base, you have to schedule a tour. You can find more information on how to do that at NBC24.com. Live in the newsroom, Jay Hanna, NBC24 News.